Hi everybody, this is Dan Talk Sense, and today I'm going to tell you my 10, 10 out of 10 fragrances. If you want to know what they are, why I believe they're 10 out of 10 fragrances, please put the kettle on, put your feet up, and stay tuned. Welcome back. So, I've come to this decision on all these fragrances based on a number of criteria. Okay, so the first one is performance. Do these fragrances last longer than five to six hours? Can you smell them in your proximity for a long period of the day? That's the first thing I've considered. The second thing is projection. So how far away can people smell you? Does it have a big scent bubble? Will we get noticed? I'll let you into a little secret here. I love compliments. The third thing I considered was the scent. Okay, so was it well blended? Was it a pleasant scent? Was it a divisive scent? Was it something uh, mass appealing? Um, all these fragrances that I talk about today are beautiful in my opinion. Okay, so the first fragrance I'm going to talk to you about, my number 10, and this was really difficult actually, but this beauty from Parfums Vintage. Now I've done a full video on the line of the Pineapple Vintage range, but I think I'm going to reshoot it because I really wasn't happy with the quality. I kept on saying the house was pineapple vintage when the house is actually perfumes vintage but they did a line of fragrances that were interpretations of the different batches of Aventus. Now if you're a fan of Aventus um, you like the more balanced Aventus from the earlier batches there's a fragrance called Emperor EDP which um, it's got the bit of tobacco in there the, the birch um, and really well blended and balanced. The one that I actually liked the most was called Vanilla Intense. So to show you the box, it's a really beautiful box. You look at that on the back. It does really give you that vintage feel. This is only a 50 ml, um, 50 ml bottle. The reason that I picked Vanilla Intense is because I had a little decant of it, a little tester and I wore it in work and I got so many compliments. People were saying that I smell absolutely brilliant. One comment I had was like, I smell similar to how a coworker smells like, and he actually wears clumped and wheat intense, which isn't the best thing to hear, but um, at least it had the same dry down vibe, which is good on clumped and wheat intense. The reason why I think this stands out out of that line is because this is like a gourmand spin on the Aventus DNA. The Aventus DNA is getting quite uh, boring um, to a certain extent because all these brands are trying to replicate it and it's not as prestige as it once was. So I wanted to get a version of Aventus that was, that was a bit out there, a bit different. My favorite, um, one of my favorite notes actually is vanilla and you'll see that through my 10 out of 10 fragrances. But this has brilliant performance. It leaves a good scent trail. The vanilla is a really beautiful vanilla. It's different kind of vanilla to Spice Bomb. It's more in your face in my view, um, but it, it really adds something else to that Aventus DNA um, and absolutely superb release from that house. So if you can get your hands on Vanilla Intense, one of the best performing ones from that line and add something different to Aventus. That's my number 10. My number nine, is Dior Home Parfum. Now, I've got to be honest, I watched a number of reviews where they praised the hell out of this one and said this is one of the best mainstream fragrances that's ever been made. So I wanted to get my hands on it and I was in the airport in Poland and I managed to pick this up for about 98 euros. The reason I picked it up was because I heard it's discontinued, one of the best fragrances ever made, and the prices of these will shoot up. So as you can see, I've still not took it out of its packaging. 
I have smelt this numerous times and it performs really well on me. I got a few decants of it because I wanted to get an idea of what it was like without opening the one that I bought. In case in the future I want to sell this but in reality I'll probably end up opening this and using it on a regular basis. But what you get with this is a nice rose note in there. You get leather, you get the iris, so that lipstick vibe where people say it's like opening up a makeup bag. This is blended so well where I feel like it's like a delicate fragrance where you know that it's there, it's got a presence about it, but it's not too overpowering. And if, in your, if you're in the office, you're not going to offend people. People are going to know that you're wearing something expensive. You know, this is under £100, but if you if, if a niche brand brought this out, you wouldn't question paying £150 um, or more for this. This is an absolutely superbly blended fragrance. And to me, it's, it's um, to the right of the unisex, you know, range. Um, you know, level, I think that it's with that lever in there, this is definitely a male. So, you know, some people say it's too feminine with the the rose and the lipstick vibe, but I totally disagree. This is superb. In my view, better than the intense. It lasts longer, projects more and superb. You need to check this out if you can. So that's Dior Home Parfum. My third one was a fragrance which I've recently got my hands on and recently smelled and this is from Aaron Terrence Shoes Ozone. Now I've done a full review on um, Ozone, probably one of the better reviews I've actually done. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just I'm quite inexperienced at this review game but I thought I, I gave it justice in that review so if you could check that review out. This is in my view, a better version of John Paul Gaultier Le Beau and also um, a lot cheaper and in my view better than Creed's Virgin Island Water. So I got a little decant to this, but I was so impressed that I've actually gone out and ordered a full bottle. This has a beautiful coconut note. It has mint that comes into the bottom as well. Absolutely superb. Um, and in my view, it got some, some nice fresh lime that comes in as well. So it's like a really fresh, beautiful mojito drink that's being brought to you on a beach. And the sunset is, is there and you're really enjoying the moment. This is absolutely superb projection wise. It is massive. The coconut bubble is huge. It leaves a nice trail absolutely superb really impressed with this and i'm definitely gonna have to check out more of aaron tarrant juice's fragrances because this is the first one that i got my hands on and it was absolutely superb so that's ozone by aaron Terence Hughes. okay my number seven is tom ford's noir extreme now i've got the real version of tom ford's noir extreme in my work drawer and I can't actually get to work at the moment because we're on lockdown. I do have a clone bottle of Noir Extreme. And this is Intense Black by the House of Perfume Parlour. You should definitely check out Perfume Parlour. Their clone of Tom Ford's Noir Extreme is absolutely superb. In my view, 95% the same. The reason that I picked Noir Extreme is because of that coffee note. I've not really smelt that in anything any other fragrance it's an indian dessert indian ice cream it's like sort of vanilla vibe absolutely beautiful and a perfect date scent but it actually performs superbly it projects and whenever i wear that i always get a, a compliment when i wear tom ford's noir extreme absolutely superb if you like gourmand fragrances if you like spicy fragrances it's got it all in there top class and with tom ford fragrances they don't tend to perform that actually performs really well i'm getting five to six hours so tom ford's noir extreme 100 percent. you need to check it out if you don't want to pay the full price get your hands on intense black by perfume parlor it's a fantastic clone okay we've got six left so my next one is going to be B 
this one and this is Aqua de Geo Profumo. Now I smell Profundo, the new one, and for me it doesn't really do it for me. It's like uh, a little bit of an amped up version of the original, which is great, but nothing special. The reason I pick this is because it's got a fantastic incense note in it. Whenever I wear this, I feel empowered if I've got a really important event in the day and I'm going to sweat quite a bit because of the nerves. If I wear this, I get this massive bubble and it is everything that the original was, but it gives it what I like to call a Champions League feel because it is superb performance, beastly performance. One person actually was put off by the incense, incense note, and so they didn't really like it. But majority of the time when I've worn this, people say, wow, you smell really good, really fresh, really clean. So this is perfect. If, you, if you're in a job where you wear a suit, it just seems to, to fit in and work well. This is a superb fragrance, a brilliant performer, super fresh, beastly. So Aqua de Geo's Profumo. Don't bother with Profundo, it's not worth the price, it's not worth the hype, just stick to this. This will be in the fragrance world for a long, long time. I can't see how this is going to be um, outdated and, and unpopular. I think this DNA will always be there um, because of how fresh it is and how beautiful it is. So, Acrogeo Profumo. We are down to our last ones, okay? So, our last five. What am I going to put at number five? So, number five, I think we'll go with the um, original Lamal. And this is a vintage Lamal. Now, I did do a video comparing the vintage to more modern. I think I'm going to reshoot that video because I don't think I really did it justice. You can find a vintage Lamal if you look at the top of the can and you see Lamal's written at the top. If you look at the bottom, there's a few minor details that you can see that are different from vintage to more modern. But I am going to reshoot that video to make it clearer to everyone because I think it's really important. The difference between vintage Lamal and more modern Lamal is massive. Okay, so the reason I picked Lamal is it will always get me compliments. The vintage ones project like a beast, so it will fill the room up. You have this harsh mint in there that's like Wrigley's chewing gum, but you have this earthy vibe to it as well. Rough around the edges, but when you have the vanilla and the lavender that come in, it is absolutely beautiful. Still as popular as it is today. Um, and you know people will compliment you on it they'll say you smell really good it is you know it just shows what a fantastic fragrance dna that it was because this was released in 1995 and in 2020 it is ever popular as it was uh, with a lot of fragrances they become outdated quite quickly but this has stood the test of time but you need to get your hands on a vintage one if you're lucky you can pick them up off off ebay but you need to know what you're looking for. New ones just don't compare to vintage. So vintage Lamar will, will always be in my top 10 list, I believe, because of just how fantastic it performs and the beautiful, mass appealing smell. Number four, and this is getting quite difficult now, but I'm going to go for Dior Fahrenheit Parfum and the reason I picked this is because this takes all the goodness from the original minus that petroleum note which was quite divisive so if you love the petroleum note you're not going to appreciate this because it has taken it out but what it has done is added a vanilla bourbon note so to me this is like a refined version of the original and when I wear this, it just reminds me of walking through Christmas markets, walking home with all my shopping bags. It pierces through the cold air um, and makes me feel warm and makes me feel happy about Christmas. I love the winter because I get to wear fragrances like this. Absolutely superb vanilla bourbon, superbly blended. This is probably 
one of the best winter fragrances ever made because of its performance you're going to get eight or nine hours performance it's so well blended i can't speak highly enough about this one you should definitely get your hands on fahrenheit parfum i've heard rumors that it's discontinued um, and that'll be a mighty shame if you like the original dna of fahrenheit and you wanted it a bit more refined and you like the note of vanilla you have to check this one out superb okay the last three um i think i'll number three i'm gonna go for original spice bomb now i'm gonna drop a video on how to find a vintage spice bomb you can you can tell by the the uh, batch codes on the bottom so fruity so spicy it has got a bubblegum type vibe but to me spice bomb doesn't smell like anything that's on the mainstream market at the moment you have got things that are similar like bulgari man in black but it's got a rum note and it's not as powerful doesn't project as much spice bomb always gets me compliments the vintage ones will give you seven eight hours performance projection and just beautiful beautiful spices and fruitiness in there um i think that you know johnny depp is you know was promoting sauvage um, but really he should be in the face of spice bomb because when you smell this you think of a pirate i do anyway um and i think that with johnny depp should have been the face of spice bomb and not sauvage but that's just another thing um, but absolutely superb i actually own four bottles of this uh, and the reason being is that it gets me the most brilliant compliments off people so spice bomb by victor and ralph but grab a vintage my number two is this now i can't emphasize enough how fantastic this release was so this is zara's gourmand leather and this is 99 percent the same as john paul gaultier's ultramol you put them side by side it hasn't got the pair note listed in this it's got neroli but you spray ultramol on your left arm this gourmand leather on your right and you won't tell the difference and additionally to that you have the the abs um, a leather and an iris note added into the base when the dry down you smell them coming through the leather isn't a harsh note like your tom ford tuscan leather it's a pleasant leather note in my view the iris gives it a bit of that dior you know home intense vibe absolutely superb i managed to pick these up for 18 quid they re-release gourmet leather in see-through bottles but avoid them because i don't think they perform as well as these did in the brown box you have to get them in the brown box this these fragrances give me more compliments than creed aventus they really do i've had two um, different types of compliments uh, a male co-worker said that i smelled like candy floss but in a good way a female um, co-worker said that she had to buy it for a, a husband because of how nice it was absolutely beautiful so you have that fruitiness with the neroli that comes across like the uh, ultramold that pear vibe but you have the leather and the iris that come in and this is a fantastic performer i can't praise this enough if you can get your hands on gourmand leather in the brown box go and do it it's the best 18 quid you'll spend on a fragrance i've actually done a video on this a full review superb bergamot iris leather superb fragrances from the house of zara at my number two my number one is going to be victor rolf spice bomb extreme and the reason that i've chosen this is because this is my go-to this is the fragrance that whenever i go for a night out i will always choose because this has a absolutely fantastic performance you're guaranteed to get eight or nine hours and as i go through the night and i sweat a bit more and it reacts to my skin chemistry the vanilla dry down is absolutely sublime now it's got cumin in there and some people might not be happy with the cumin um, note because it they might think it's a bit curryish if that's a word 
uh, might smell similar to curry um, and they might not like it it might be offensive to them I actually I like it I think it works well the fragrance um, absolutely superb it lasts all night it gets me compliments and the vanilla in this is sublime I, I truly believe that if this was in a niche bottle a niche company perfumes to Mali released this and it was 200 quid nobody would bat an eyelid because it's got great performance and it's uh, it's got that gourmand element to it and it gets your compliments I can't I can't say I can't really emphasize enough what a fantastic um, bargain this is 50 quid for 50 mils you can't go wrong performance compliments smell different to a lot of people out there because not a lot of people actually that I'm aware of wear Spice Plum Extreme it's famous in uh, in terms of fragrance reviewers and frag, fragcom they know it's a brilliant fragrance but in the mainstream you know at work I don't think I've ever smelled anybody that's you know that smelled like Spice Plum Extreme um, even on nights out and that's truly honest so what, that's what I like about it is I smell different to most people out there that are probably wearing the Aventus DNA or the Savage type DNA. So that's my number one. Please tell me in the comments what you think of any of these fragrances I've mentioned today. What would you put in your top 10, 10 out of 10 fragrance list? Um, please subscribe and thank you very much for spending the time to watch my video. Thank you very much.